but like from the little pieces that I'm gathering, like everything is up. So, 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 so what's up with Palestine? And is the original Palestinian people? And is they being killed more than everybody else? They're not being killed more than everybody else. They got their land, brother. It's the Palestinians with the Arabs. And the Arabs is who? The Arabs. The Arabs go goes back to um Israel. No, not Elon. Uh Ishmael. 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 That's who they go back. That's their original name. Ishmael. So the Arabs is Ishmael. The Palestinians claim to be Palestinians because the original Palestinians were black. When they took over that land, they called themselves Philistines. Philist you see what I'm saying? So this like gingerification thing is nothing new, it's just a modern ass. Term. All they do is take different names to for confusion, so we won't know who they is to call them out. But we know who they are. So we call them out. You know? So when you say the Arabians, like who is we talking about? I need an image. The, oh the Arabs. Oh, the Arabs. Man. Cause the Arabs, they they, they don't the um the Arabs that we know of. Con, look at the Arabs right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Them is the original Arabs? Them the original Arabs. Uh, no, I, I, so what is that, a race or a geographic? That's their race, their nationality. Their nationality. That's they the Arabs. That's who they are. So what's their race? What's their ethnicity? Arab. Everything what? Ishmael. Ishmael. Goes back to Ishmael. But yeah, what I'm saying, like, okay, so you, you would, like, they would call us Moors at certain times, right? Right. Depicting our, our complexion. Right. So I'm saying, so what would that, so what would an Arab be? The, the Arab or the um Ishmael. It goes back to Ishmael. Well, I see what you're saying. All right, let me well, put it like this. What's the race? What's the race? I'm though? telling you the race. I'm telling you the race. Like we we go back to Moors. That's just the name that was put on us. Moors. We're the Israelites. You see what I'm saying? They are Arabs. Their nationality is the Arabs. That's who they are as a people, as a race. But their biblical name is Ishmael. Like our biblical name goes back to Judah. Right. You see what I'm saying? So Ishmael is who? What's his ethnicity? Ethnicity, ethnicity is a, a, a race, right? Yeah. It's a race. Yes, sir. Arabs. No, he mean original. What would it go back to? Because he was born from Abraham. Let's get that. Let's right. get, 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 get that. Let's look at um, Genesis 17, 18. Let's take it to the scriptures. Shalom, King. Yeah, how about you? How about you? How about you? How you feeling up? Great. Oh, praise you. Glad to see you, King. I'm going to read that. Book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 18. And Abraham said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might. Who? Ishmael. Who? Ishmael. That's the heir. Go ahead. Might live before thee. Ishmael might live before thee. Go ahead. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear, bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him. So it was two sons. Abraham had two sons, right? Ishmael and Isaac. But the Lord said, I will establish my covenant with Isaac, meaning Isaac's children. That's, who, that's the golden lineage. That's the chosen lineage. Ishmael is not a chosen lineage. See that because it was two different mothers. One mother was a Israel, a Israelite, a righteous, and the other one was a heathen. So I'm saying a cockapon. So that's what makes them the difference. Okay, so that so the what so what was her so what was her race? The heathen. The African, the African, a Hamite, was Oh, so the, they both had black mothers. Wait, they both was dark skinned. Okay. Okay, and black as you pertain to. But one was royalty and was a non royal her people. All right, that makes you royalty then. But the um, it was the African, the Hamite, a non-royal people, and then it was an Israelite woman, which was a royal person. That's where Isaac lineage came through. His father was Israel, and his mom was Israel. Even though it don't go off of the house of the mother, you are who your father was. But because God said I would establish my covenant with Isaac, that's what made us become the chosen. So where do that come from? Where do what come from? That we come from our fathers and not our mothers. I'm about to pull it out for you, Numbers 1 and 18. He's going to show you. Oh, the show book you. of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. 
by the house of their father. By the what? By the house, house of, of their, their father. So God say our DNA, our bloodline goes off the house of our father. Whatever your father is, that would make you. That, that's why when you keep going back on the, the father's bloodline, it can never be erased. Right. So why, so why do they, I don't know if it's the credentials of certain like Jewish beliefs, but they say that you can't be a Jew unless you come from your mother. Like, they, 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 right, it's not, but that's not in the Bible though. Right. The right. Bible says it goes to the house of your father. Right. So we're going to believe what man say or believe what God say. Right. Right. Because if we believe what man say, then they can pit themselves. That's how they pit themselves on top to be the children of Israel. But when we go according to the Bible, the Bible going to let us know that we are the children of Israel. So we got to believe God rather than man, right? right. Uh, Generations get. I mean, I mean, I kind of figured that because the man got the seed. Right. Right. And it's like right. any man that played his seed in a woman, you could change the whole blood. But only a man could do that. I don't think a woman could change the bloodline. Well, the bloodline never changes. Check it out. I'm going to give you an analogy. If I was, if I was on me, I'm a Judite, right? I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. If I get a Chinese woman pregnant right. and she had that baby, yeah. what would that baby be? Would that baby be Chinese or would that baby be a Judite? Would be not. Be a Judite. Ain't no question. So, it, that's why the seed matters. So, whatever the seed go, that's who they are. Now, if the mother can be whoever, a, a, a Caucasian, an Arab, you know what I'm saying? That seed, no matter who I have a baby with, that seed is going to be a Judite because it's coming from my seed. Same as a, a white man. If a white man had a baby by a, a sister, or one of our sisters, that baby will still be an Edomite because right. of her father. You see that? Okay, so so this truth that you're giving out, right? Mm -hmm. Would that be um, classified as anti-Semitic? They named it anti-Semitic to keep us from bringing out the truth. They hate the truth coming right. out, but we are Semitic people. Right, right, they right. They stole our nationality and our heritage. Right. Teach up. So what's the so what's the uh what's the what's the European definition of anti-Semitic? And then tell me what you think is anti-Semitic is. They, they want to be anti anti-Semitic is we being anti towards their race, but we are Semitic. We are the original Jews because they stole our history. They stole our nationality, brother, and tried to say that we are nobody, but they're the God's chosen people. That's why they got Christ set up as a Caucasian man. When the Bible say Christ is a black man like you and I. You see that? So all the stuff that they say, they can't bag up and with scriptures. They were a homicide in their head. Right, the so-called Jewish people, the white so-called Jewish people, they put hamakas on their head. That's that in the Bible. You see that? The, the, the Bible says what color the Jews are. Did you know that? You ain't know. See, this is important for you to know these things. Right, right. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm familiar, <laughs> but I ain't get it from I ain't get it from no um, holy books. Though I got it from um from one of our black scholars. Well, a lot of the black that. scholars is not dealing with the, the Most High God. If he's in the, if he's in the, the Israelite, he ain't got no business teaching this. If he's not keeping the commandments, he have no business teaching this. That's right. Right? How do you know? Because the Lord talks about wolves and sheep clothing. That's right. Right? How do you know a wolf from a shoe sheep? How do you know a false teacher from a original God's real teacher? How do you know? Do you know? be feeling like truth is a feeling. No. Uh -uh. I don't think it's an understanding. Uh -uh. It is an understanding. Uh -huh. Because we were taken for everything. Why did, hold on, let me tell well, you the something. The understanding is an agreed upon thing, right? No, no. That, that's why. Why do you think it's so much deception out here? So many lies. What goes back to deceit? But people agree upon these things that have been established, right? Yeah, you're gonna, if, if I'm from a toddler, and my, I'm going to believe whatever my parents t teach me. That's a fact. Even if it's wrong. You see that? But, 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 but what would make you know that? The scriptures. Because we always knew that what was going on was a lie. Check it but out. How do you know it? Though? Because of the scriptures. When I got older, okay, right, check it out. They teach us, give me the book of, uh, give me the book of, um, give me the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 2. I mean, 10 and verse 1. What that one. Now, they, when we were growing up, a lot of us, most of our nation, we were told about Christmas, correct? Okay, now we, when we got older, we know that Santa Claus wasn't even real. 
the reindeers wasn't even real. He right. don't come down the chimney. Right. He don't eat the milk and the cookies that we set out for him, right? Uh -uh. We find that out when we get older because it's in the scripture. So let's read it and see if it's in here. So go ahead and read. Book of Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So the Lord is only speaking to the children of Israel. Go ahead and read. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. He told us not to learn their customs. Don't learn the ways of the heathen. Go ahead. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathen are dismayed at the heavens, meaning the constellations, the zodiac signs, and so on. They dismayed at them. He said, don't not to us to not follow that nonsense. Right. Go ahead. For the customs of the people are vain. Now, the, the Lord said, if, if we follow them, don't follow them because their customs are vain. That's right. Go ahead, meaning nothing. Go but ahead. one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Now, when they take on the Christmas, you cut a tree out of the forest. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. Go ahead. They deck it with silver and with gold. What do they put on that tree? They, they deck, deck it, it with, and with silver, silver and, and with gold. gold. They fasten it with nails and move and with hammers that it moves not. See that? They bring that tree into their house. They deck it with silver and gold. Put lights on it. Christmas lights. Because back then they didn't have Christmas lights. So they decked it with silver and gold. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's in here. When we get old enough and the Lord brings us to the truth, Right. Then we learned that Santa Claus was fake That's the whole right. time. But this is what I'm saying. I right, so to the average person, right, who's mm -hmm. probably learning off of YouTube that don't really trust that book. Yeah. And they would never find truth. truth. They would never find truth. You think so? Because guess what? God created heaven and earth, right? Okay, so he left a, a signature for his children. Some directions. Let me give you another example. I got. I go out of town. I got two children. I go out of town. I write down a note which I want to be done and what I want not to be done. What y'all going to do and what y'all not going to do. I leave them in the instructions. I go out of town and I come back and they had a party which was never in the instructions. Then what? They violated. So we violate a whole lot of things until we come back here, which is the truth. Right. This is the book. This is the information, the direction that God gave to us. But we push it aside and want to do what everybody else is doing, not follow our God's given directions. But I need, before I leave y'all, right, I need, I need an understanding on anti-Semitic. What does the word actually mean and what do you say it means? Look up anti-Semitic. You want to get the Bible dictionary. And then the etymology of it also. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Because that's a big thing right now, Israel and Palestine. That's what huge. When you anti, that's what? Against Go, it. Right. Right. So how we are Semitic. This is the thing. They claim to be Semitic. The white people specifically came, claim to be Semitic. Right? Oh, they got all these religions. We could talk about every religion but not israel religion why because it's stolen history it's a stolen heritage right that's why they don't want nobody to, to talk about it right that's why they punish people for talking about it because they don't want the truth to come forth even though the truth is already out go ahead and read that off it says anti-semitic no it says against jewish people anti-semitic now against jewish we are Jews, right? right? We're Jews. Why are they calling themselves Jewish? The suffix. So what's ISH? Something that pertains to, something similar to, not the original. If I got a crown and that crown is black, then I got a crown that look like it's black, that crown is black-ish, right? It's not black. It's something like black. It's almost the same color as black. You get what I'm saying, King? Say that. Say that. All right? Say so that's that. what the anti-Semitic thing is about. They stole ours and they, they, look, our Lord put that spirit on them to say, claim Jewish. Right? Because there's 12 tribes. If white people are the Jews, just say they're not, but it's just say if they are the Jews, where the rest of the tribes at? Where the other 11 tribes? They all ain't claim to be from the tribe of Judah, right? You see what I'm saying, King? Like, think. Think about it. You never hear about Ephraim. That's part of the 12 tribes. You never hear about Manasseh. Part of the 12 tribes. You never hear about Issachar. Part of the 12 tribes. You never hear about, what is that? 
Benjamin, yeah, right? Kelly. Levi, yeah. Naphtali, and so on. You never hear the Caucasians say that. Why? Because they only one little race claiming to be Jews. Well, it's the, it's twelve tribes. And on let, let's read about Judah real quick in the book of Jeremiah fourteen two, right? Let's read about Judah. Book of Jeremiah, chapter fourteen, verse two. Bring it out. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof language. So the tribe of Judah is in mourning. Is these people that's claiming to be Jews in mourning? Is they in mourning, bro? Absolutely not. No, they own everything. That's a fact. So, but the Bible says, not man having men conversations with other men. God said, the book of instruction that was given to the Israelites says, the Jews are in mourning. Go ahead. They are black unto the ground. The Jews are black unto the ground. Right. Right? So, as these people black, I mean, you came up here talking Moors, Moors mean black. Right. But see, like, this is what I'm saying about the language. Because then you could go even further back with the etymology and they're saying that black means pale, without color. When? I, I never heard that word. That's a new one. This is what I'm saying. But now this is why I'm asking you for, for, for clarity because there's a lot of different ideologies that get put in the atmosphere. Let me, let me show you how, let me show you about the deception that they went through the book of Psalm 82, right? Now, what happened was, in order to take us from our heritage, from not being the 12 tribes, they had to take our name. They had to take our language. They had to take our customs from us. They had to take our God from us. You erase all that from them, they won't know who they are. When they don't know who they are, we can tell them, this is God. We won't allow them to read so they, they get the Bible, they won't be able to read the Bible and see that this is actually is depiction of in the Bible, but since they can't read or write, they're gonna go with our dilemma. You see what I'm saying? Let's read this. Go ahead and read up. What you want? Uh, it's 82 and one. Book of oh, Psalms, chapter 83. So okay, that's what I, I want to show. Psalms 83. Book of Psalms, chapter 83 from oh, the top. It. Bring it out! Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Now, God said. David said, our enemies make a tumult, mean a pact. They came up with an agreement. Right. Thy enemies, so the children of Israel have enemies. Right. Our enemies said what? And they that hate thee. They that do what? And they, they that, that hate, hate thee. Our enemies hate us. They that hate us. Have lifted up the head. They lifted themselves up. Go ahead. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They took crafty counsel against God's people. Go ahead. And consulted against thy hidden ones. And consulted against thy hidden ones. We're the hidden ones because we don't know who we are. Go right, ahead and right. read. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. They stripped us down from our heritage, our roots, and everything and said, let's cut them off Ooh. from being a nation. That what? That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So, that was the prophecy. That happened. Now we said that the name of Israel would be no more remembrance. Now we think these people are the children of Israel, right? But didn't God say that the name of Israel would be no more remembrance? You take this back two generations ago. We didn't know it was Israel. Why? Because we was in slavery. We weren't allowed to read or write. Our enemies made that pact and it came to pass what our father told us was going to happen. It happened. Now we out here to wake our people up to let them know that we are the children of Israel. Right? So on, not King. So on, Right? Now, so when you, like I said, hey, give me that in the book of John chapter 8, verse 32. So why is Putin doing what he's doing right now? Because that's prophecy. That's prophecy. in here too. Say Putin, Putin, listen, King. Putin is going to be one of the main corporates that take this place out in an hour. The Bible tells us that this America is going to be destroyed. That's right. Everything is in our book of records that our Heavenly Father left for his children, right, but right. we don't want to read it. And then when we try to get the understanding of us, we think about the stuff that the heathen entitled us, and we fuck up against the Most High God. That's when we go wrong. What I call? John. John. Book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Read that one more time from the top, Hebrew. Book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. 
our people is not free because we don't know the truth. Right. That's why we kill one another. Right. That's right. why when these other nations, white people, and these um, Chinese people do something to us, we don't get no get back. But when our own people do something to our own people, we won't get back. Right. Why? Because we're not following the book of instruction that our father left for us. And this is one of the things that our father left for us in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17, Hebrew. Watch this. Right? Shalom, King. Shalom, how you feeling, brother? All praises, all praises. Right, now let's see what this says. This is why the instruction that we don't follow, and this is why this is like this. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. And what the God tell us? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt not supposed to hate our brother. Right, but we hate our brother. Anyway, you see that? Why? Because we go against our father that gave us this book of instructions. We don't honor this. You see that? We don't honor it, King. We don't have time for me, huh? Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Bring it out! Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So we cannot try to suffer sin upon our neighbor. What is sin? Pay back. Getting out our own people. We're not allowed to do that, but we don't honor it. Why? Because we don't honor our God. Remember, we've been taken away from our God and was taught that man is a God. You see that? Right? He, they pit him up as Christ. Now, when they do something to us, we don't want to do a damn thing to them besides justify it. We got to stop doing that. We have to stop doing that. Right? Right? So, this is what we got to come back to. Our heritage. We got to come back to our heritage, Kenny. There's no race liars. It's true. There ain't no white people in the Bible to punch his palate. Right, right. Matthew chapter 18. Why are you arguing about it? Chill out. And first, Chill out. Jesus is not white. Is the whole book of the 18, Bible is in Africa. 17. What are you talking about? Ah, shut up. Ah, yeah, I ain't never been nowhere else. Chill out. Right. I got you. Book of Matthew cool. chapter 18 okay. verse 17. Bring it up. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Your Bible is wrong. Your Christian is wrong. Christian is wrong. Book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, if thy brother shall commit a sin against us, his own brother, go ahead. Go and tell him his fault. We gotta go tell him his fault, what he did wrong. Go ahead. Between thee and him alone. Between each other, not between the whole multitude, between me and you. If I got a problem with you, I'm supposed to tell you. You know what I'm supposed to do? I have a problem with you, and I go tell Ray Ray. I go tell my cousin. Everybody know I got a problem with you, but you. You see that? But God said, no, if I got a fault with you, a problem with you, I got to go and tell you. Go ahead. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Now, if you hear me, then, guys, we on the same accord. Yeah, I forgive you, bro. We start with up and we keep it moving. Oh, that's right. Why is every this is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me? How often shall my brother sin against me? Right? You do something to me, I got to forgive you. I got to let it go. Right? I got to keep letting it go. So the, Peter's asking the Lord, like, Lord, like, how much do I got to keep letting things go that my brother keep doing to me? Go ahead. He said, how often shall I show my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times, Yahweh Shah answered and said to him, Christ said unto him, I say unto thee, until seven times, but until 70 times seven. Until 70 times seven means you got to keep on forgiving your brother. That's right. Over and over and over. Now, could you put a distance between your brother? Yes, you could. Give me the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 11. Right? You could got, got, give me the book of Romans 16, verse 17. Now, if your brother keep going and coming out, because guess what? We had King David. King Saul cut bucking up against King David, wanted to kill King David, wanted to do harm to King David, but King David was a king before the kingship went down to Saul. Right, right. But even though King David knew Saul wanted to kill him, he just avoided him. David didn't want to go around his brother because his brother had hatred for him. Why? Because that brother was not keeping God's law to commitment, but David was. Right. Now David could have killed him, and all this came back down on, on Saul to have a 
ignorant relationship with David because they the uh, the crowd was gave David the props because David had more kills than Saul. So he got that spirit of jealousy hopped on him. Go ahead and read that up. Book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 17. Yo. To our brother, forgiving your brother 70 times 70. You got to keep forgiving them, but that don't mean you got to be around them. Go ahead and read. Now I beseech you, brother, mark them which cause division God and say, offenses. Mark them that cause division and what? Offenses. And offenses. Go ahead. Contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. Contrary to the doctrine which we have learned. Hey, King, I need you to hold post over here, Art. Go ahead and read that from the top, King. It's the book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. Contrary to the doctrine. What doctrine? The Bible is our doctrine. That was given to us because we're a royal people. But the thing is, we lost this because we don't want to read it. We don't want to obey the instructions in here that were given to us for our Lord. You see that? Read it nice and loud from the top. Thank you for me. I could no interruption. Book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 17. Yo. Now I beseech you, brother, mark them which cause division of fences, contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. And what? And, and avoid, avoid them. them. And that's what King David did. He avoided Saul because Saul was his enemy that wanted him to go down. Right? Go ahead and read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 7. Bring it up. For the Spirit of the Lord. Go verse 11. With the Messiah, one verse 11. Verse 11. Sorry. <laughs> verse 11. Therefore, before, beware of murmuring, which is. Beware of murmuring. Go ahead. Which, pro which profitable, which unprofitable, Sarkin. And refrain your tongue from backsliding. Okay, read that one more time. With the Messiah, chapter 1 and verse 11. Therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable. And refrain your tongue from backbiting. Now, God says, don't murmur against your brother. Remember, if you got a problem with your brother, you take it to that brother. Anyone go not doing that, they go contrary to doctrine, meaning contrary to what the Lord told us. You see that? A lot of us don't honor that. Go ahead and bring that out. Book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46. Bring that out. And why call ye me Lord, Lord? And do not the things which I say. Y'all do y'all. Why call it thou me Lord and not do the things that I say? Y'all got it. Read it again for me, y'all. Book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46. And why call me Lord, Lord? Why call me Lord? And do not the things which I say. And don't do the things that is written. Because everything is written in here comes from the Lord. Why Why call me Lord? Why call on my name if you're not doing nothing that I say? A lot of our people do that, especially in the Christian church, right? They say they love God all the time, lip service, but they're not doing this. Right. They're not correcting our people. We out here to correct our people That's and right. show when our people is doing wrong, King. That's right. Read that one more time straight through for me, y'all. Book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46. Bring it out. And why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me and heareth me, my sayings and doeth them, I will show you to whom... He is like, he is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the steam beat. That's on that, that's on that up. So I'm showing you the instructions that was given to us as a people, letting you know that we don't follow our book. What a lot of people like to do is follow man. Whatever man say, we get in the conversation there and then we roll whatever they say instead of rolling what the God, our God say. Right. Our God and our Father's not going to steer us wrong. Men will stare us wrong. Right. Go ahead and read that out. First John chapter 3 and verse 15. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, said written unto you. That's first John. First John. 3. 3 15. Okay, give me second John. Uh, we, 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 we went into that, brother. Are you listening to me? Nah, okay, so okay, so what, okay, so what, what does that mean? You told me the answer is Semitic, man. What does okay. Semitic mean? What's Semitic? Semitic. Semitic. Meaning we come from. Give me the book up. I need the what's Bible Shemetic dictionary. Is, so, so it's pronounced anti Semitic? They call it Semitic, but it's Shemitic. Shemetic. We come from Shem. Give me hands. 
So Shem is black people. We're going to show you. We're going to show you. That's it. That's all. We're going to show you. That's the article. Yeah. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to This is the so comp. Before you do that, you familiar with the flood that took place? Are you familiar with the flood that took place? We know it, right? Right. Okay. I need our, the offspring of that. Go ahead and read. The Zondervan Compact Dictionary. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. 96 years before the flood. Go ahead. And one of the eight persons to live through the flood. And one of the eight people to live through the flood. Only eight people made it. Go ahead. He became the progenitor of the dark races. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Go ahead. Not the Negro. Not the Negro. So Ham became the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes. Letting you know we're different from the Hamites or the Africans. Right? Did you know there was a difference between our people and African people? In the book of Exodus 11 and 7. Go ahead and read. Wake him up, Bob. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, 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 so the Negro that they depicted in that, in that section right there, the Negro, right? Mm -hmm. That's speaking about us. That's speaking about us. And who else did they, was they speaking about? The Africans. The Hamites. The right. Hermetics. So the Hermetics is the Africans. The Africans. Right. But I'm saying it sounds like Negro is a modern ass term. Why would they put that with the Hamites and that's like an ancient term? Because they wanted to be that we are the same people as the Hamites. Uh -uh. So they can take us away from being from the, from the Shem. We come from Shem. Give them Acts 13 and 1 2 for the Negro. Okay, hold on. Go ahead and read that. Listen to this. Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it up. Against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog. The other nations are compared to dogs when it comes to the children of Israel. Right. Children of Israel are the righteous and the heathen nation are the wicked. God refers to the heathen nation as dogs. Read that again for me, y'all. Exodus chapter 11 verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord do it put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Right. The Lord put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. What, what was the Egyptians? What was the Egyptians doing back in Egypt? Uh, what you mean as far as like they, their belief system? Was they the ruling class? Absolutely. Now, who, who what race of people were slaves under the Egyptians? See, that's the that's a, that's a debate right there. How? That's a debate right there. How? Cause like, what part of Egypt is we talking about? Egypt, where we talking about Kemet? Them is two different we time about periods all, too. We all, all Egypt, brother. When, when you said that the Egyptians are black, the children of Israel, we're right. black. Right. right, but the Lord is letting you know there is a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Now that's a fact. Now the, the Israelites was under bondage, slavery under the Egyptians. We're going to get in the book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 13 for me, y'all. I got it, though. Read what um, you got. Book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 13. Bring now, it out. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel. What'd that say? And the Egyptians made, made the children, children of Israel. Israel. Time, Hebrew. And the, the Egyptians, Egyptians made, made the children of Israel. Israel to serve with rigor. That means hard, serve hard bondage. Go ahead and read. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. With what? With, with hard, hard bondage. bondage. So the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve, meaning the children of Israel was under captivity right. under the Egyptians. Right. Do you understand that? All right, so I'm asking, so now I'm asking, is that is that literal or is that allegory? When you go back in history, that's not because I'm saying that sounds like that could be a depiction of now Showing that the, how we the, or is that an actual event that took place? That's, that's a, what I'm asking. That's the actual event that took place back in ancient Egypt. Right. Uh, the pyramids uh. and all that stuff was built with off, off of the backs of us, right. the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right, right. Same as the Babylonians. See, that's what I'm saying, and I have a problem with that. Because you don't know your history. That's why you got a problem with it. Oh, I might know some you don't know. I know all I need to know, because all look, the, the, the world gives us confusion. Right. 
If we cling to their knowledge, it goes against God knowledge, right. brother. Right, right, right. So you mean to tell me that it wasn't professionals that built them pyramids? No, they give uh, us uh, on a Discovery Channel. <laughs> ancient <laughs> aliens uh, came down and mingled with uh, humans, uh, uh, and they used these I devices <laughs> of technology that we never seen before. That's all garbage. That's what they, that, they that, implant in us, brother. Hockey. Right, right. right. I'm not talking about that though. Well, that's what it sounds like, Hebrew. Listen, I know the word though. I could have used it. I know. Okay, so I know who I'm talking okay, to. Okay, so explain it to let me know what you're talking about. No, I'm just trying to get an understanding. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out if that's an actual depiction of a time or is it like metaphorical? Because I know a lot of things in there's not they be taken literal. Right. It's, Hence, there's numbers in front of every verse, which means there's keys to those verses. Right. That's why we told you that it was, it was literal. It happened. We, we walked into Egypt. The children of Israel was enslaved. We walked into Egypt. Oh. This time we're in spiritual Egypt. That's a metaphor, spiritual Egypt, because right. we came over on slave ship that the Bible speaks of. Right, right. Right? That's why on the back of your dollar is still a pyramid on there. Why is it a pyramid in America? Wake him up. Why they, rep why they got my monuments over in Washington DC that's representation of what the same one this is Asia. what I'm saying like they trying to say that over there is really not the center of civilization like it is the center America of civilization America always I'm, been the center nope, of that's civilization that's what they see, see how the deception comes but come? Pangea though what about it that's when all the continents was together see this is the same let me say this is what they also give us let me ask you this question because it's going to let me know it's going to let me know where you at uh, you know about dinosaurs right I'm Which familiar? Okay, but dinosaurs here 65 million years ago. I mean, if I go by what I'm uh, being taught, uh -huh. maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, now listen. This earth wasn't even here 65 million years ago. Hold on. Hold on. Think about it. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait. You hear me out. No, 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 no. Hear me out, brother. Let what me make that? my point. All right, all right, now, they say a bone, one bone, can't even make it to a million years. You mean to tell me these dinosaurs died 65 million years ago and we right. can still find the bones today? Right. Like, like I, I need you to think, King. A bone. Was they preserved for 65 million years? Right. So this is, this is, this is, nah, but I, don't, I, but I don't know. I, I mean, you asking me Jeopardy questions like Well, I'm, I'm asking I'm you questions really, because you, really, because you coming to me with Jeopardy questions. I'm not, why are you the best knower? I'm supposed to right, ask the so best I'm, knower right, questions. Right, and I'm giving you the, the um, medicine from the answers from our God, but you would go back into their knowledge. So what I'm saying, because right, wait, right. wait, wait. That's why you was going back into Egypt and you going off of the knowledge that you was taught and rather than going off of the facts. We read that the truth shall make you free. Uh -huh. We just trying to free you so you can understand the right. lies. That's why I gave you the knowledge. But you got to meet for. me where I'm at and bring me where you that's, at. Um, that's what I'm trying to I do. I still got some shit in my eyes. You got to get that out of there. Okay. So, so we, this is the this is the a process. So we making it plain. That's what I'm saying. You got Cam. You got Kemet. That was a part of Egypt. Cam. And it changed to Egypt, just like the colors did. It went from black to death. You a lot of things saying? keep changing, but what we do is we keep it the same. We go back and keep it how it was. It was the 